Hello everyone. This is the Kronos guy from Improvisations again with another improv learning quick tip for managers. Uh, for those of you who need to work with their employees' schedules. It's time to talk about another task that, well, let's face it, most managers have to undertake, adding and editing an employee schedule. We're going to start with the basics, adding a shift via in-cell editing, and then adding a shift using copy and paste. We're also going to talk about how you can delete a shift from an employee schedule. So go open up your schedule planner and we'll get started. You should see the employees you have access to with the schedule dates and or date range showing in the date picker. On the top left, you'll see all the tools available to you. They're along with any other options that your administrator has set up. So notice you have a quick menu. Click on that lightning bolt. You'll see all the available options. Now, when adding a particular shift for an employee, you have options. There are multiple ways to add a shift. The easiest way, I think, to edit a shift or add a shift is called in-cell editing. So you're editing right inside the cell. That's our task today. Go ahead and click on the cell you want to edit and type in the time range for the shift. Although Timekeeper can usually figure it out, it's really best practice to always add an A or AM and P or PM to the times. So instead of just 9-5, which Kronos will figure out, it's best practice to do 9A-5P. And if you make a mistake, I promise Kronos will let you know. Now, notice up in the right-hand corner that we've made, after we've made the change, that your save button has now changed from gray to orange. That means you have unsaved changes. And if you don't click it, you're at the risk of losing your work. Now let's look at another way to edit. That's using the right-click menu. We'll do a copy-paste to demonstrate. Highlight the shift you need to edit and use your mouse to right-click. Then select more from the menu and copy. And then move your mouse to the cell you wish to add or edit, right-click again and select paste. Now look again at the menu on the top. In the newer versions of Workforce Central, we have a very slick way of, uh, of doing copy and paste up above using quick actions. This works a bit differently than you might expect. You must first select the action you're going to take and then you choose your cells. So, for example, highlight or click the shift you wish to copy. Then click on the cell you wish to paste. Now, to understand the reason you select your action first, you can paste as many times as you need. Just keep clicking on the open cells and, and uh, choose paste. And then don't forget to click on save again. How about we try deleting next? As you might expect, there's more than one way to delete the contents of a shift. You can right click on the cell in the schedule and a pop-up appears, select the de delete option, and that shift has gone away. As with copy-paste, you can also use the action menu. Select the shift you wish to delete, click on the schedules button and select delete. Now, like in many products, there are multiple ways to choose these actions. I like the right click, but you should choose the one that works best for you. Please also note that these tools work best when you're adding a shift here or there, making minor edits, that kind of thing. They really aren't the best choice to edit or add schedules over weeks or months, and certainly not to create someone's entire schedule. There are other much better tools available to help you do that. And don't worry, we'll talk about those in later quick tips. I hope this short improvisations quick tip has been useful to you. And as you go about your day needing to keep those schedules up to date, let us know what you think in the comments here in YouTube or in the accompanying blog post at the Kronos Guy blog. We'd love to get your feedback. Hope you have a terrific day. This is Brian De Silva, the Kronos Guy. Have a great day.